Let's talk now about the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. This is the only current that actually flows continuously, and it's the only one that flows around a continent, at least uh, around the, Antarctic, the continent of Antarctica. This current, the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, is really an extremely important current because it's the only one that connects with all three major ocean basins. The Antarctic Circumpolar Current interacts with the Indian Ocean Basin, the Pacific Ocean Basin, and the North uh, and the Atlantic Ocean Basin as well. And in doing so, and in interacting with current systems, both surface and deep circulation systems in those three ocean basins, many oceanographers feel that the Antarctic circumpolar current and Antarctic circulation is really the governing factor or the driving force behind most of ocean circulation. And Antarctic circumpolar current plays a role in that. As I said previously, the Drake Passage at the southern end of South America is also an important ocean choke point. The Drake Passage is also a really dangerous place for ships. And if you saw that movie, Master and Commander, that's where they lost a couple guys over sea. Sailors long dreaded that passage uh, through the Drake Passage because you're traveling against the winds and against the currents, trying to go from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. And sometimes people just went the other way. It was so bad. But in any case, um, it has some of the worst ocean conditions in terms of sailing in the world. It's an extremely energetic region of the world and another choke point for ocean circulation. Let me reemphasize that because the Antarctic Circumpolar current communicates, so to speak, with the Pacific Atlantic and Indian Oceans, it may also control the exchange of waters between those basins. So it's a really important current system. And this is really a very idealized view of it, but you can see that it has um, an extensive boundary of the current. This is the polar front, the subarctic polar front. There's an Antarctic front with uh, between the current that forms the southern boundary, uh, which interacts with the different seas, the Weddell Sea I talked about a little bit earlier, but the Ross Sea as well. And this image being laid out like this, and you really want to look at a round image, doesn't give it um, too much justice, but it's the best figure that we had of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. But here you can see that it interacts with the three major ocean basins. It also is a very important current in terms of the Antarctic itself. Uh, it may isolate the Antarctic from the rest of the world in terms of talking about habitats for organisms and those kinds of things. So it's an interesting oceanic boundary for the Antarctic as well.